it's usually a big sigh of relief when we find that first nest because I'm in my head playing games. And you're like, man, do I know what a turtle track looks like? I've been out here for so long. We go out on the beach at six in the morning to look for their crawls. Don't expect to see a turtle at that time of day. We're just looking for their tracks in the sand and hopefully they've left a nest for us to find. That's the morning patrol. We didn't find anything, but that's all right. Hey everyone, my name is Paul Hillbrand and I'm the sea turtle biologist here at the Bald Head Island Conservancy. Overall, the turtle protection, sea turtle protection program here at the Conservancy is in place to ensure that all shapes and size of sea turtles on Bald Head Island are protected while they are here. It's pretty amazing to just be right there with that animal, working with the mom, knowing that she's gonna put her eggs in the ground and that we're gonna protect them for her. My path to working with sea turtles, it started off with a fourth grade literature arts project on beluga whales. And then ever since then, I knew I wanted to work in marine science, marine biology with the ocean. Started there and then easily being inspired by my mom who never stopped me from picking things up, wondering what plant this was, wondering what animal this is. Picked up a lot of box turtles and sliders in my childhood with my mom. I think there are two main goals I hope to accomplish with my work and throughout my career to inspire the next generation. I really want to show my passion, my enjoyment, my excitement, my wonder about these animals. In fact, that there are so many questions that we can still answer that we don't know the answer to. And specific to sea turtles themselves and the loggerheads that we're seeing here on Bald Head Island, I'd really like to conserve and protect the population enough that they are viable on their own without the help of humans. So sea turtles are very important to all the ecosystems that they uh, interact with, whether it's the ocean, the seagrass beds, or the beach. And so sea turtles are what is known as ecosystem engineers, meaning they have an effect on every environment that they interact with. Once those hatchlings crawl out of the sand and go to the ocean, everything that's left over in that nest, the eggs, maybe some yolk or albumin, and unfortunately sometimes some hatchlings that didn't make it, they're gonna break down in the sand, decompose, and make that sand, that area, much healthier. Those hatchlings, we've protected them and we want them to survive to adulthood, but they also provide food for major game fish in the ocean. So the mom goes back into the ocean, she's got a bunch of sand on her back. Sand that, yeah, it may have been in the ocean before, but it's not now. There's new uh, nutrients, new chemicals, a bunch of different microscopic organisms in there. Specifically to Bald Head Island, our sea turtles have the problem of navigating our mammalian predators. So right now we have a coyote population that really enjoys getting into our sea turtle nests. The second major problem impacting sea turtles on Bald Head Island, but really globally, is anthropogenic influences, anthropogenic man-made problems. And so some things that are in the ocean that cause a lot of problems are abandoned fishing nets. Sea turtles get caught in them, longline fishing. A lot of impacts are happening with mankind's want for seafood, as well as Mankind's want to live on the beach, so a lot of their nesting habitat is being lost due to construction of homes and also erosion due to all these homes being placed up on top of sea, uh, sand dunes. And by protecting sea turtles, the work that we do on Bald Head Island, making sure the moms are safe and sound when they come up with the eggs in the ground, putting a cage over the nest so that nest can grow 
and incubate and produce healthy hatchlings so they go to the ocean. We are not just conserving sea turtles. We're also conserving the coastal environment, the coastal ecosystem, and hopefully by doing what we do, increasing coastal ecosystem health. So not only are our turtles healthy, but our beaches are healthy, our mahi-mahi are healthy, our snapper, our sharks. We want our environment as a whole to be healthy and balance itself out. To all you eco explorers out there, I really hope you get out into the wilderness and ask questions. And I want you to wonder why the sea turtles are nesting on the beach. I want you to wonder why the painted buntings are sitting up in the tree, calling out to whoever they're calling out to. What are they calling out to? Why are they calling out? And continue to ask questions because that's how we push science forward is wondering why stuff happens. Even after you get an answer, to your question, whether it's a research question or just a personal question, that answer can open up doors to a whole lot of other questions.